Hi everybody, welcome to Saturday Live at the Backyard Bird Center. Well, one of the more frequent questions we get here is about where birds sleep. Where do my birds go at night? Where do birds go at night? Uh, and, you know, of course that leads to a, a couple other avenues of discussion. So I thought I would address that today. It's a, it's a very common question. So, and part of that uh, is that you, it depends on the lifestyle of the bird in question. You know, if you're talking about uh, northern bobwhite or quail, you know, ground birds, uh, typically they sleep in, in grass clumps or, you know, in whatever shelter kind of they can, under bushes, things like that, on the ground because that's where they live their lives and that's where they're comfortable. So those are pretty easy. Well, of course, you know, and you, and you think, oh, okay, all ground birds, like wild turkeys. No. Wild turkeys are very much an exception. They tend to roost up and sleep up in trees, like a lot of birds do. Um, so you've got uh, that group, and we're going to come back to the tree sleeping birds in just a second. But when we think about other groups of birds, waterfowl. Waterfowl, as you may well know, is that they sleep out on the water. Now, of course, a female uh, duck that's sitting on eggs, of course, is going to sleep on her eggs uh, and hopefully in a well camouflaged place on the ground somewhere. Usually up against a tree is what she likes to do. So there are lots of different uh, avenues of sleeping. Now, some of the more fascinating uh, avenues of sleeping for birds are seabirds. Uh, a lot of the birds that that spend their life out over the open ocean and they spend a lot of their their time on the wing like in, a, in migration how do these birds sleep when they're flying thousands of miles and things well there are some fascinating studies out there about birds that actually sleep between wing flaps uh, and yes that's uh, as crazy as that sounds uh, they have pretty good evidence of that and there are a lot of birds that flap flap and then glide take long glides especially birds that are buoyant by up with drafts of wind like over the ocean uh, can, can actually sleep um, uh, during during flight like that uh, there's some studies that indicate that some birds half of their brain can be asleep while half of their brain is awake now that's incredible but and but you know for the most part when we're talking about our birds when we're talking about um, the birds that come to our bird feeders the birds we see in the air in our area most of those birds do sleep in trees or bushes and there's a couple of things to that uh, and that is one they want to be safe and so a lot of these birds like small birds like to get into an area of thick vegetation where not only are they protected from wind elements, you know, and snow and things like rain and things like that, they're also protected from predators. Because if a predator is trying to get into that bush and there's a lot of shaking, then hopefully they have time to wake up and escape. Um, you know, I know I used to have a row of cedar trees by my driveway. And when I would come in at night uh, and pull up to park, I'd park right against that row of cedar trees. Well, when I would open the door of my truck and with the lights and the noise, they're all kind of fluttering and, and moving around in the bush, that those thick, because those cedars are very thick. So they provide really good uh, shelter for birds at night. And so there were a lot of birds that roosted in that group and clump of cedar trees. So. But it doesn't necessarily have to be an evergreen. It can just be thick bushes. Uh, one of the, my favorite stories about where birds sleep is years ago, I had a, a bird, an old bird feeder that was empty at the time. This was in North Carolina. And it was shaped like a lantern. It was a cheap feeder with just plastic plexiglass. And one night, I just happened to be uh, standing in front of the kitchen window, and I saw this bird out of the corner of my eye land on that feeder. And it was right at twilight, getting really dark. And I watched this Carolina wren move around and he backed in to one of the openings in the, the bird feeder. So he just tucked himself back in and basically all that was sticking out of the, the hole in that bird feeder was his bill. So he was roosting in there at night. Uh, they'll use all kind of little nooks and crannies in your house, like up in your gutters and places where they, they, they can feel safe. So, well, how about those tree roosters? Those birds like that wild turkey I talked about and chickadees and cardinals and a lot of these birds that just sleep on a tree limb. How is that possible? How do they keep from falling off of that tree limb, especially if the wind's blowing or there's a storm? Uh, if they're asleep, why wouldn't they just get blown off and fall to the ground? Well, they have an adaptation that is very, very cool. Uh, they have a, uh, a, a specialized tendon in their in their feet that I'm gonna 
pick my limb up here for you. So uh, pretend this is a limb. And almost all perching birds have three toes forward and one toe backwards. When they land on a limb and they wrap their toes around that limb and they squat down on their, their legs onto their feet like that, their feet, these talons, they, they, they literally lock into place. So as long as their weight is pushing down on their feet like that, these toes cannot release. So in the morning when they want to fly away, they have to basically stand up or release that weight off of their feet so their toes will unlock and they can fly away. But that keeps them from being able to not, will not be blown off in the storm. It's a really cool adaptation, just one of many, many really cool adaptations of being a bird. So it depends on the lifestyle of the bird as to where they sleep, sometimes you know, rock ledges and things like that, but most are perching birds sleep on limbs at night and that is how they keep from falling off. So it's a really good topic for a program. Really thanks for the idea. Uh, send in ideas for future programs. We want to talk about what you want us to talk about. Um, give us a like, give us a share. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe. Until then, come on, let's talk birds.